All right, so we're taking a look at checks and balances. And really, it's a way of dividing the federal government. So, again, they were trying to make sure that no branch became too powerful. So each has its specific job. Legislative makes the laws, the executive enforces the laws, and the judicial interprets the laws. So when we look at what the checks and balances are, they're really, again, these limitations on the powers of the other branches. All right. So the checks are going to be your restraints over or, or the controls over the other branches to make sure no branch is too strong. And the powers are also in there, which are specific powers that one branch has that others do not to make sure that the other branch, that branch is no, not too weak. So if we go through this with the legislative versus the executive and the checks on each other. So we know that Congress can pass new bills. In order for that bill to become a law, the president must approve or veto the bills. Congress, as we know, can override a presidential veto with a two-thirds majority. Okay, um, We'll talk later about pocket vetoes and other things later. The Senate um, approves appointments. Um, and again, we know that the president makes appointments and so um, and makes treaties. Congress can impeach and remove the president from office. When we look at the legislative, the Senate has to approve Supreme Court nominations, um, and Congress can impeach and remove federal judges. The Supreme Court can declare the acts of Congress unconstitutional. We know that the president appoints the Supreme Court justices. Um, and that the Supreme Court can declare any executive acts unconstitutional. <clears throat> Just so you know, it does say here that Gorsuch was the, the latest appointment when I made this in um, July. Okay, it's July 24th, 2018 right now. That was the latest. I'm assuming that is going to change sometime, probably before we actually talk about this. Uh, in class, you needed to complete this graphic organizer, uh, and this is the one that you have. Now, you're, you may do this in any uh, form of a graphic organizer. This gives you an idea, but you need to, using your text and other resources, you need to write in uh, and complete and turn in for homework these okay, checks. So what each branch can do regarding the other branches.